Okay, now I want to also address this issue about name calling. And I have been thinking about this today because I read about how Maggie Gallagher of NOM is making a huge deal about this. And that's what they do. They say that those who discriminate and have anti-gay animus are the victims. They're the victims because their views are a minority. And I don't know about you, but I think that's a good thing. But then I read this other article on Pink News, I recall, about the UK House of Commons. They approved gay marriage, but it has to go through a committee. And I guess they settle out some few details of the bill. And I guess the editor of that paper, Pink News, uh, it's a gay news website. We link to it on the Gay Report. So he went to testify. I don't know what, I don't know why he did that, but I, okay, fine. He went and testified. And one of the members of the committee, a right winger, he said, well, I voted against gay marriage. Uh, do you, you think I'm homophobic? And, you know, it's a pretty stupid question to ask. Because this isn't about, you know, you. The bill is not a resolution to declare you a homophobe. The bill is about allowing certain adults to be able to get married and be recognized as a legal spouse. That's what the bill does. But what this member of the parliament, this MP, tried to insinuate is that, well, he said that the users and the readers of Pink News, and I haven't been there for a while, I mean, uh, read their comments, that a lot of the people there are abusive, name-calling other people who oppose gay marriage. And let me just say this. I'll say, all right, I'll give you that. Some people within the gay community might say that you might be a bigot, that you might be a homophobe. But then we go to you. I mean, you're not innocent in all of this. I mean, your side is not the free from that kind of sin, if you want to call it a sin of name calling and all that. I mean, look at your side, the anti-gay side. What do they do but name call? I mean, what's worse? I mean, look at it objectively. What is worse? Being called a bigot because you have a, a, a prejudiced view of homosexuality and homosexuals. What's worse, that or being blamed for the destruction of society? Being accused of being a pedophile, which is what a lot of right-wingers on your side do. Being accused of destroying civilizations. Being accused of destroying villages in the Bible. Being accused of causing Hurricane Sandy, Katrina, being accused of causing earthquakes. And that's a lot of religious people think on your side. Being accused of, of being Satanists, being accused of being communist, being accused of being cannibals, being accused of being wicked, being accused of being disordered by your church, Being accused of having sex with dead corpses? Hmm. Being accused of being members of the KKK? That's what the Archbishop of uh, Chicago said. He accused gay people of being members of the KKK. 
Oh no, but your side. Oh, you're you're all wonderful. You're all loving people, and uh, all you're worried about is the definition of marriage, right? You're not worried about anything else. Bullshit. Look at the people who are really doing the name calling. It's not us. I mean, compared to what we say, it's pretty tame. It's pretty specific. We're not the ones calling you, Mister Morality. We're not the ones calling you. Or accusing you of destroying societies, civilizations, causing earthquakes and hurricanes, and molesting children. I mean, everything that happens on this planet, there's some bigot out there that accuses us of being a part of it. From the Sandy Hook disaster, the shooting, and all the way through 9/11, terrorism. We are blamed for that. We're blamed for AIDS, death, and destruction. So what's worse? Oh my God, we call you a bigot. Oh my God, but look at things that your side's been calling us, and we take it on the chin. And you get called a bigot, and now you're complaining. Now, and these are the same people that say, "Oh, you know, those gays are always wanting it." They're Wanting to have a society that's politically correct, and look at them. Now they're the ones telling us, you know, don't call us a homophobe, don't call us right wingers, don't call us reactionaries. PC. So what's the politically correct term that we should use? Oh, I'm just a a person that is opposed to the redefinition of marriage. <laughs> so somebody that was supporting uh, racial segregation in the past, uh, what did they say? Oh no, we support racist or racial self determination. <laughs> uh, and that's the bullshit that we get to hear. And the thing is, if I was in that committee hearing, I would scold this guy, and I'll ask him, "Have you ever been called a terrorist, like we have, like that state lawmaker from Oklahoma? She called gay people terrorists. They were worse than terrorists. So I don't know what's worse than terrorists. I don't know. Worse than terrorists." We caused 9/11. We caused Sandy Hook. We caused Hurricane Sandy and Katrina. We caused earthquakes. We destroy society, civilizations. We rip apart families. I mean, we're just the most evil people on the planet. That's what we've been called. Basically, the most dangerous, evil, destructive, degenerate people in the world. And you're complaining that, that you have been called a term that describes that you have a certain prejudice upon those people that have been called the most evil of evils of this planet. Oh my God, what a fucking dumbass! But there you go.